Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Can we talk with Monique? I am Monique. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please, before we get started, please remember to hit that little bell so you're notified of all my uploads and like and subscribe. And if you like this content, um, give me a thumbs up. Um, and I ask you to do that because it just kind of helps with this YouTube algorithm. So let's get started. As you can see from the thumbnail scandal, um, I wanted to give you guys like four to five tips if you're going no contact going into the new year and you've made up your mind you want to um, go no contact with the narcissist I'm gonna give you a couple some tips um, I thought were helpful for myself just that help you to stay um, no contact and um, if you're in the Lord these are things that will help you as well um, and I think they're va it's valuable information because it did help me it did definitely help me um, but these are things that, um, you know, people don't think of. So why I have this actual, um, thumbnail here, this is Scandal. Her name is Olivia Pope. I don't know if you guys remember that TV show from back, um, maybe a couple of years ago. Um, and you're probably like, what does that have to do? What tips is she trying to give? Well, one of the things that I know when you go no contact with somebody that you may have a soul tie with or what have you, certain things may trigger you. And so this is so that way you can be successful. You can be become an overcomer. You can be successful and stay in no contact with these individuals, right? So, um, one of the shows that I was guilty of watching, I'm not proud of it, <clears throat> was this show Scandal. And this show had a plot that is definitely not pleasing to the Lord. Um, this was Olivia Pope. And let me see, I think I have the, um, the, uh, let's see, Wikipedia. Okay, let's look at the cast of characters. So, Olivia Pope, uh, was played by Kerry Washington and, um, yeah, this is her picture. And um, yeah, Olivia Pope, it says, is a fictional character created by Shonda Rhimes for the political drama tele -series, television series Scandal. This character also played a small role in How to Get Away with Murder. Okay, and then um, Tony Goldwyn, he was the one that played the president, Fitz. And eventually she was the, um, Kerry Washington, she was the young lady who had an affair in the White House with Fitzgerald. She was his bed wench. She was a whore. Um, and again, I, I think it was like Thursday nights. I think Scandal would come on and then How to Get Away with Murder. And both of those are titles that really are just not correct. And essentially, it okayed the side chick, you know, um, theme like you know it's okay to be a side chick and I'm here to say I was guilty of watching it too I mean her hair was always late makeup was fly she had the flyish trench coats and you know suits and dresses and all of that stuff but the bottom line is she was a whore to the president she was a side chick to the president um and it didn't put I'm African I'm black and this black woman um portraying that and basically in my mind it was conditioning the world it was a top rate to show in other black women that it's okay to be somebody's side piece side chick thought whore whatever you want to call it and um this is these are your eye gates these are the things that when you watch them they get into your soul so if you're trying to get away and there was a lot of sexual scenes in this right so if you're trying to go um, no contact um, at the top of the year or closing out the year you don't want to watch things like this this is why I'm putting it there scandal because it, it, it talks about definitely scandal this was another picture oh no that's not it hold on y'all where is the picture see this is a picture this if you look at something like this this may trigger you you may think about you being with the narcissist or if the if the woman is a narcissist the man may think about oh my god i kissed her. i might want you know these are things that trigger you and can make you weak so you don't want to watch programs tv shows anything with the sexual connotation i'm telling you these are things that people won't tell you because you got to stay strong you understand you may still have that soul tie and you don't want something like a movie or something that kind of triggers you to you know become under that spell of that person so even television programs guys just be mindful um of what you're watching 
you know, on TV, another show that was popular back in the day, Sex in the City. Don't watch stuff like this because the underlying innuendo theme, the propaganda behind it is going to make you think about having um, sex, committing fornication, adultery, whatever it is, um, why you are trying to go no contact. You need to have um, not watch those things and feed your eye gates, those things. Also, listening to music, right? Um there are certain songs that may trigger you that you and the, the that the narcissist because these narcissists they want the one that I was with used to like to send me songs over my phone and even when I listen to some of the songs today I just shake my head but it is still a reminder music is very very powerful so I'm going to encourage you number one as far as tv shows and stuff stay away from tv shows like this um maybe watch some comedies um you know look at the rating on the show i know this sounds kind of corny but you don't want you want to be successful you want to go no contact you don't want them um you don't want to fall back into that same pattern because you want to be successful um at the top of the year music be mindful of the music you listen to maybe not even listen to music unless it's like maybe gospel or maybe some jazz but don't turn on your local 98.7 kiss i'm not against them that station but i'm just saying that was the station when i lived in new york 98.7 kiss i don't even know if that they even exist anymore but don't turn on you know v103 or something like that um because you're going to hear all of the latest music and most of the music now has a sexual connotation or a sexual undertone and i'm telling you that stuff is going to trigger you you know if you start hearing some of the you know uh what's his name chris brown or a uh, show sure. one of those songs you it may trigger you uh, to think about the narcissist and you know believe it or not may trigger you to end up calling them you know or getting stimulated i just need to be honest with you um or aroused and wanting to go and get back with them so i don't know if a lot of channels talk about this but i need to talk about the truth we don't want to watch anything uh, we want to protect our ear gates and our eye gates from anything that has any sexual connotation overtones um and guess bottom line is scandal it basically is telling you what the show is about it was a show that was up to no good and unfortunately i think she's a beautiful woman um like i said they used a black woman to um predicate that being a side chick was okay even at the highest levels of offices and that there was no remorse um as it related to it right and um it's it's really disgusting but i'm here to say i'm um i was guilty of watching this show too this was one of my favorite shows before i understood what i was doing how i was doing things and whether or not it pleased the most high and so now that I know, you know, I can say this to you. I watched this show as well. And I brought it up because, like I said, it was a debauched show. It it, it, it put women, whether you're black or white, but especially black women in a bad light um, of having an affair with the president. And it was and she was an educated special. She was really, really smart. Um, but it was just a debauch show when you look at the undertones and what it was really trying to sell and it made everybody else look at us like oh yeah she's a bad wench um, you know she you know black woman this is what they do this is what's the propaganda that was being sold um, so please just try to watch things that are you know not don't have the sexual connotations the undertones you know that type of thing like I said sex in the city what else let me go to um, let's see um, I had another, um, I had another slide. Oh, that's not it, y'all. What happened to my slide? That's not for this, um, Lord, 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 Lord. okay, where's that? I don't know, where's that other, Look, you know what? Can I get it together, people? Or what's gonna happen? I don't know. I thought I had another, um, what's that? I don't know. See, y'all, just bear with me, y'all. I'm trying to, that's not it. That's not it. Ah, uh, this is not, this is not cute. Where is this at? Let me go to my desktop, y'all. Y'all gonna see my old crazy looking desktop. I ain't editing this because I don't know how to edit. How about that? Um, where is that? Did I down? Did I um? I don't know. I might have just look at this mess. Here we go. You know what? 
Look, y'all, I don't even want to have to record this all over again, but look at the telephone. I ain't recording this all over again. I don't know. Change your number. That I mean, I understand you may have had the same number for 30 years. Change your number. Seriously, because these people are going to contact you. I Let me tell you about my experience. After... I don't know how long of being no contact they called me after and when I said it was drama with the situation this person had ended up getting locked up for something that they um did to me and then there was a protective order and all this other stuff they still try to contact me seriously at the middle and what they do is catch you off guard this person will call me at call me like one two three o'clock in the morning and I was startled out of my sleep I didn't bother to look at where the number was coming from. Of course, it wasn't their number. They called from someplace else. And I was like, hello. And they were like, yeah, hello, it's me. And they called my name and I hung up. This change your number. So that's these are the old phones. These are the old dial phones, <laughs> rotary phones. Just change your number. So, you know, these are some, you know, bits of advice to help you to be successful. You know, just three tips. Um, maybe four, change your number, you know, don't watch anything that has a sexual overtone or things that y'all used to watch together. Don't listen to music like your couple's favorite song, or don't even turn on a radio station. If it's not just some jazz, um, or maybe some gospel, don't even bother because your that will stimulate you. It will trigger you. And the other thing is try to keep yourself busy, order some puzzles, um, get some books order real books from amazon you know um to maybe we'll try to do some exercise but i think it's in keeping yourself busy you know your old hobbies um that type of thing but definitely guard your eye gates and your ear gates that is going to be important i know people don't talk about this a lot of youtubers may not talk about this but when you're definitely trying to go no contact with individuals who sometimes some of them are so overly sexed or so overly you know um sexualized and sometimes they manipulate us with sex then you want to guard yourself um from even getting triggered or stimulated or anything like that um and the telephone is difficult i'm going to be changing my number um, in another couple of days, I've had this number for some years, but this person, I still get those calls and I know it's them and it's, it's just, it gets ridiculous after a point in time, but I don't even want to them to hear my voice and I don't want to slip up to even hear their voice. It's just like, ugh, I don't even want to be bothered. Not so much as even for weakness. It's just like, dude, move on, go on about your business. Um, and then you guys know that um, I've gone through a divorce. So, you know, I just want to cut and sever ties um, completely. I hate to change my number. But again, these people don't ever stop. Even if you have a protective order, you said you don't want to be bothered. You haven't called them in months and weeks. And then I'll show you some of the text messages. I have to black out some of the information so you can actually see um what happens and that's why you have to stay strong you don't want anything to um as far as your armor is concerned and you want to be able to fight and be successful and also to come out victorious you want to be an overcomer you want to get untwined unbonded unyoked um, de-yoked whatever the word is um, from these people and um, these are just some tips that can help you to be successful you don't want to watch I'm telling you you don't want to watch these things I don't I haven't I don't watch tv I watch youtube and I'm very selective about what I watch and listen to I'm telling you, this is the way you be successful. You have to be very selective. I would not, if I were you coming out of a relationship, have the radio on in a car and let you have it turn tune to maybe just a jazz station. That's it. No talking because it's if you go, what they're selling on the radio and on TV is sex. And sex is inevitably some song is going to come on or some thing is going to trigger you that you're going to think about this person. I'm telling you, even if they treated you the worst in the world. So my, my, my advice to you, these are just some tips and these are the things that I do. Like I said, get you some puzzles. I know it sounds crazy. Learn to cook, to start uploading some YouTube videos. They do take some time to do, but that could be a new hobby for you or start educating people about, 
um, you know, narcissism or, you know, that type of thing. Um, what else? Like I said, get you some books, get you some puzzles, get you some board games, crossword puzzles, that type of the stuff. Sudoku, something to occupy your time so that way you're not constantly thinking about this person. And it's okay not to have, you know, as people that I'm bored, I need something to do. It's okay to just sit quietly and just take a, you know, pause. People don't know how to pause. Taking a pause is okay. Just press pause and just pause for a minute so you can gather your thoughts and um, take in what has happened. Because some people like myself have been in these relationships for years and have and we have not taken stock of our own selves and what we have been doing. We've not taken stock of our health, our wealth, our worship. We haven't taken stock. All we have to, if you involved with a narcissist, your time, you're going to be scrambled because they are a ball of confusion. They are a ball of confusion. There's nothing stable with these people. Now they may go to work because the narcissist that I knew, they did go to work, but anything outside of that was unstable. They were not stable people at all. So, guys, I'm hoping that this um, and forgive me for clicking back and forth and trying to find this picture of the red telephone, because that's what I was looking for. The telephone to say, hey, guys, um, just change your number, because these people I'm telling you, I know to, to this day, this person still call this number and a hang up. It'll come in from because I have my number to where what I did was and this is what a lot of us do. We'll block these numbers. Or we'll have our phone set up that if a number is not known or is a blocked number, our, our phone won't accept it. These people will call from other numbers. They'll spoof. He spoof numbers, got fake numbers for Google numbers. I'm telling you, just change your number. And if you have a home phone or something, maybe just um, put your first initial. Ask the company if they'll just put your first initial last name or just your first initial use your middle name do something so that way they can't track you that way because these people are nosy they don't ever stop they're always looking to see where you live because they want to see if you are in the gutter if if you you are with somebody else it's it's just ridiculousness but the goal right now is to stay free and no contact no contact is important because you're no longer having an exchange. You're no longer having a transference of spiritual things or physical ties, right? They can no longer drain you. There can no longer be a transference in the physical, right? So that's why no contact is important. It gives your time, yourself time to um, reboot um, for your brain to get some rest, for you to defragment um, all of the confusion and all of the crazy talk and word salad and you know gas like it gives your brain and your body time to try to recover so that's really important but also as we know with the in the spiritual realm there's no transference going on and the longer you are away from these people the better when you get back and yes it's hard it is hard in the beginning it was hard and and it's not easy but as the days go by, months go by, a year go by, but see what happens is the devil is just the devil. And that's why I say that these narcissists are the devil, because the Bible talks about what's that scripture where the the um the devil is cast out, but he goes away um to find somebody else, but then he'll come back um to see if there's anything filling that spot, and he'll come back with seven more devils. They always come back to check. That's why I tell you these narcissists have the same characteristics of demons, of, of Satan. I'm sorry, it's just it's just is what it is. Okay, yeah, I said it. <laughs> but it is what it is. They have the same characteristics. They go back seeking to fill the spot that they had before. So these narcissists, they come back and they'll stalk you and they want to try to get and they'll act like nothing ever happened. And if you go back, they will punish you. And that's what Satan will do. He will get you back in. And they said it'll be worse than before. And so when I like I told you, I was hearing things about narcissism. But I was like, this sounds familiar. It sounds like the devil in the Bible. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> I mean, if we don't want to joke ourselves and there's nothing funny about it, but quite honestly speaking it rang a bell of where did I hear this before in the in the word the bible in the gospel and he was describing satan mm -hmm. and so that was one of the reasons if you go to some of my other videos I was kind of 
I really didn't want to say that. That's what I thought. But I have to call a spade a spade. Um, if these people have a spirit and they are mimicking um, Lucifer and his behavior, then it is what it is. OK, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Yes. Parents, children, friends. Yes, that can happen. So, guys, those tips, hopefully they do help you. Um, let me know down below if you are um, thinking about going no contact. And um, hopefully some of these tips will help. Um, help you to stay, be successful in going no contact and just not even dealing with the narcissist altogether. Um, and um, as the time goes on, you will know that you're healing because you, you, you don't think about them. Or if, if he, that person does come up in your head, it's like you, you really don't have a, a feeling or thought either way. But the one that you're like, good Lord, thank you for getting me out of that, that type of situation. You, you know, you're more thinking about where you're headed versus them, you know, and sometimes people will ask you, well, how do you know you heal when you're thinking about how to correct yourself and how to improve in you when instead of just ruminating of a narcissist, that's one way to know that you're healing. When you're not so much thinking about them, you're thinking about what can I do next? How can I maneuver this? What did I do in the past that was this way that I can change when you're really trying to improve yourself? And then the next step is how are you helping others? Are you educating others and helping them to understand? Because this is a spiritual war, guys. I don't know if you guys understand that being um, narcissist, um, to me, from what the Bible says, these are <laughs> Satan. See, I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. But this is what I truly believe. It's the wheat and the tares, guys. The Bible talks about wheat and tares. Those, those are Satan's children. And I know some of them may be family members, mothers, but yes. And he knows that he capitalized on trauma with them. And they made a decision to follow him. I don't believe that, you know, they're like, they don't know. It's just because they were children. No, they make a decision. Well, a lot of us were traumatized and had, and we made a decision. It's a decision. They know exactly what they do. So I'm going on a tangent, y'all, but we could talk about that one day. Do the narcissists really know um, what they're doing? And the answer to that is yes, they know exactly what they're doing. Um, but anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching, listening, and I want you guys to know that it's a new year. You can do this. This is really crucial and important to your life, your destiny, your purpose, your health, your finances, to you just getting back to your normal self. Um, and if you take some of these steps, it's difficult, but taking baby steps one at a time. But some of these people, you just got to go no contact with them because they're un some of them are unyielding like this one that I was with um he has said I was like how do you how long you think this is supposed to go on for he was like forever these people are really serious they think they own you no it's not forever um that's going that came to an end um because we need to be treated um like the kings and queens that we are um, we need to understand a lot of us didn't know what that treatment was like because we had never been treated with dignity, respect and, and, and real love. So we need to learn we and we need to teach people how to treat us. We need, But first, before we teach somebody else, we need to know that we deserve to be treated well. So, ladies and gentlemen, and yes, men are mistreated, abused, um, manipulated by narcissistic women as well. So it's not just a, a, a woman um, being uh, treated that way by men. And I, I hope that I made that clear because it happens to men as well as women. It is a phenomenon that has gone worldwide. Um, and um, these are the last days that we're living in. And people are lovers of themselves. They have no natural affection. I think in my other video, I went over the scriptures. Um, you know, they just don't. You know, a mother should have natural affection for their children. They don't. A husband should have natural affection for their spouse when they're sick in the hospital. They don't. So this is the reason why we have to pull out all stops. These narcissists don't pull out, don't hesitate to pull out all stops to gas, like, I mean, to um, love bomb you, to do whatever they can to trap you. They trap you. They prey on you. So we need to pull out all stops and be wise and know that something as simple as watching certain television programs with certain innuendos, um, and listening to certain music can trigger us and have us get weak and go back to that narcissist. And we don't want to do that. Um, even hearing their voice. 
I don't, you know, that may be a trigger for some people. And so if you don't even want to risk that, change your number. Change it because I'm telling you, these people find ways, even if you block them, they will get a um, Google, um, what do you call it, a Google phone number or spoof your number, and then your number will receive it. You won't recognize the number, and it'll be a number like from your local area code, your local um, where you live, and it'll be them because they know you won't answer the phone if you see their number. Or they'll get some other fool to use their, excuse my French, it might be not be a fool, but they'll get some other unassuming person and use their phone or they'll call you from the job phone i mean it's just it goes on and on and on and on and it's best just to leave it be do not go back these are tips and tricks and i wouldn't say tricks but these are some tips that i think will help you to be successful stay in no contact breaking eventually breaking these soul ties and moving into your destiny and what God's purpose is for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell, and I will see you on the next upload of Can We Talk With Monique. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Peace.